Now, I spend an unhealthy amount of time on Twitter. Twitter is like my TikTok. I keep swiping, swiping, swiping until the algorithm starts showing me the same old videos from the same pages that I viewed three hours ago telling me to go get a life and fuck off from the app. Just waiting for people to do stupid shit so I can catch the wrist, slap it, and be like, wrong. And I can, most of the videos that I come across is usually XQC got into a heated argument with train wreck on who is richer oh my god shit no one gives a fuck about and it's very rare for me to gasp after a video it's usually the factory workers fucking their head getting stuck in a factory machine or something then exploding these accounts sometimes you know the ones who i haven't banned yet they just come up and that does it for me that's when i go <gasps> And surprisingly, this was the second time that I gasped in a month. And surprisingly, no one died in this video. But we were all dying. I was dying to watch this guy get arrested. Why is he not arrested? But we'll get to that. Forbid them not. She is 12 years old. That is her parent. He will forbid whatever he chooses. Am I clear on that? 12 is very old. I was looking for a six-year-old. Now you know why I guess. To give you a little bit of context about this, this happened in July 8th, 2022. Yes, it was two years ago. But the camera footage only came in hand six months ago. The man you're seeing on your screen right now, the one who prefers six-year-olds and not 12-year-olds, because, you know, bro has a type, is called Timothy Nelson, 43 years old from oregon to give you a little bit of context who was that 12 year old girl that made this guy fucking travel from oregon to ohio to stand outside the house and wait for her to come out so they can finally have their love story bro this is beyond disturbing the 12 year old's name obviously wasn't mentioned in the whole story but basically five years ago her and one of her friends they started a youtube channel on the youtube channel they made some you know goofy videos some what a seven-year-old does on the channel mr timothy the 43 year old got obsessed had a crush on her imagine a 43 year old man goes on youtube kids and stalks you know puts an option on who am i going to be stalking and having a crush on who's going to be the love of my life who's going to be my woman it's that disturbing after this, Haiwan found his type. He started leaving inappropriate comments, the things that he wants to do to her on the YouTube channel and start harassing her at the same time. It's just multiple comments from multiple accounts. And after a while, the parents had enough and decided to close down her YouTube channel. Now, over the past five years, Mr. Timothy did not accept the fact that she is no longer on the internet and was in denial. So he decided to make multiple fake accounts message her friends message her friend or friends trying to get in contact with her trying to locate where she is and tried every possible way it is until after five years he located her and decided to come at the front door and talk to her as if the parents are not alive as if the police doesn't exist none of that so why are you going door to door if you're trying to meet some girl from the internet for a date i've been after her for five years and i haven't heard nothing from her if, if i find her one day that's fine if not i can leave i just want to no know answer or just yes answer I he goes on and he says he just wants to get an answer out of her he wants to ask if she wants to go on a date my friend you travel all this way you've stalked her for five years do you think anyone will believe you that if you find her you will leave her alone just like that and it's really disturbing after the things he said that the police haven't the police took their time with arresting him yeah well going door to door isn't gonna find what her. am i gonna do sit out here wait for them to pull out of the yeah. driveway well you don't even know where she lives i know i do but i had my cell phone taken away from me so, so what what's your long-term plan here because I mean, we, we, we got is, we got several complaints about you coming up knocking on people's doors soliciting that's not right man I'm just, well, that's why I'm here. I'm, no, I'm not just driving around. Didn't happen. I'm just saying if, if, if I could get a, a yes or no answer for her, I would leave. You know? I'm going to venture to say if you haven't found her yet, it's probably a no. How are you to say that, man? I don't know what address Well, because you don't know where she lives. You don't even know who she is. They receive a lot of complaints because you went on knocking on people's door. Imagine this guy pops up in, in on the house in your front door, right? You have a daughter. You have a child. He's like, is your daughter named blah, blah, blah? I'm her future husband. <laughs> Honey, bring my shotgun! I'm surprised the words that come out of his mouth, he hasn't been shot yet, to be honest. Are you from Oregon? I am from Oregon. Oh, you got, this guy's got, you gotta take this guy in. 
Why? He's been harassing my 12 year old daughter online. That's how it works for you? Yeah. yeah. You're gonna forbid me? Little children? My name is Ask Little Children. Oh, God. This. Oh, my God. The FBI is involved in it, so. Please. The FBI? You yeah. know what? All right, hey, hey, stop, stop talking to him. All right, step down here on the street. And he had the audacity to walk up to the father and be like, are you forbidding me, a 43-year-old man, to see your 12-year-old daughter? How dare you? As if they're a bunch of fucking teenagers in a summer school, summer camp, I don't know what movie. All right, so so th there's your answer. This girl you've been talking to is 12 years old. You're obviously an adult, so that, so that, that conversation. Forbid them not. Hey, For forbid them not. She is 12 years old. That is her parent. He will forbid whatever he chooses. Am I clear on that? 12 is very old. I was looking for a six-year-old. All right, that's disturbing. The police officer's response was, that was disturbing. Mr. Police Officer, that was a time where you should have fucking body slammed his ass, take your baton, start fucking beating, beating him up with it. What do you mean that was disturbing? Put him in handcuffs. He's literally saying these kind of things. And what makes you think he's not going to do it in the future? And what makes you think he hasn't done it yet? The way he's speaking. That was a time where they should have arrested. But I guess they try to... They kind of knew that he was maybe on something, on some drugs. Or maybe he was just, you know, he was obviously sick in the head. But they try, they investigated him more. I don't know, these fucking officers that were content creators or something, they try to get the whole footage out, get a whole reaction out of this guy and maybe post it on their YouTube channel. Doesn't make sense why the police officers waited this long. I will leave forever if that's what's in her heart that says that I do not want this guy. I will leave forever yeah, and that well, five years has okay. been well, so, one girl so, has been so, a long so, time. So would you, five so would years! You, five years! Now, I don't know what kind of shit this guy is on. This is not a normal person's behavior. Maybe if you stalk someone for too long, you actually believe that you are meant to be together. Or before that, I don't know how this shit works. But he is screaming outside, just like romantic movies. Five years, I was loyal to you. I haven't fucked anybody. You are my woman. Bro! Honestly, don't know how the police officer kept his cool and just... Talk to him as a normal person. This is when they needed to contact mental hospitals, mental asyl asylums or something. Fucking take him in. That's it. There is no point of having a conversation and talking to him. So so at 12 years old, if, if she says, yes, don't I'm get, in love with this. Don't give me all that stuff, man. I've been with well, one girl I'm, all I'm, these years. I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. A gun whoring around with other girls i've been with one girl this whole year wow timothy we are all very proud of you that you haven't cheated on the girl that you've never been with who is also not to mention i gotta do a real quick math over here 31 years is it 31 years you're older than her all right mr nielsen i told you i would do you one favor um i i, I did speak with the 12 year old and i know while you said that you don't care if you're six years old 12 years old it's what you feel in your heart uh she wants nothing to do with you no. do you believe it came from her i talked to her i talked to her specifically do you believe it came from her she wasn't under distress at all well no she's not under duress how do you know because i was in the house how do you know she's not under duress right now he is fucking delusional he is under He's in denial. This is what we call a, per a person who cannot take rejection. And I guarantee you the second if if 1% chance, if he saw her right there, he would have attacked her, hugged her, and start fucking running away and say, you are my woman. How do you know she's not under dress? Huh? Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. We're not, we're not going to have you acting up like this. I've done nothing. First time I watched this video, my whole blood was boiling that why is he not in handcuffs yet? He admitted to stalking and he also he says, I have done nothing wrong. He admitted to stalking charges, underage sexual harassment. And I was very scared to see at the end of the video if the police are going to capture him or they're going to, you know, let him go because this shit happens. And he says at the end, I have done nothing wrong, bro, literally admit it he snitched on, on himself after he said all those things but he didn't care because he wasn't allowing the law to stand in a way of love bro is donkey bro is just sick in the head he should never be in in a general public population again you don't know the things that he's capable of but if you think that made your blood boil just wait until you find out how many years he got sentenced he, this video was in july 2022 he got sentenced in july 
in sorry December 2022 four and a half years in prison just four and a half years I don't know if the judge was his cousin his uncle they knew him somehow but they gave him a very fucking light sentence but after four and a half years, he's going to be monitored for five years to see his kind of activities. And I have no doubt he's, that he's going to be back in jail again. His charges were two counts of menacing by stalking and one count of importuning. I don't know what importuning means, to be fair, to be honest with you. But he was also required to register as a tier one sex offender. But anyways, let me just let me know what you think about this. Let me know what, what would you do? What would you would have done? If you're in the dad's place, if someone comes up and demands your fucking 12-year-old daughter. Yeah, I just thought I would share it with you. But yeah, take care of yourself. I'll catch you at the next one.